skincare is always something that has somehow eluded me like I do it but I don't do it and now that I'm engaged I want to have flawless skin at the wedding because I just uh, it's just a goal of mine to have flawless skin again in high school my skin was like porcelain I would have people comment on my skin on how good it was and now after I graduated high school is several years ago now my skin has just gone downhill every single every single day I feel like it either it get worse and then it'll get better for a little while and it gets worse and I want to create a nice healthy routine one that is easy maybe one that I can add a few steps here and there but one that really helps my skin to be flawless rejuvenated and all of that good stuff without having to do like a 20 step skincare routine right now the one that i'm about to show you that i'm doing is quite a few steps i don't really know what like the average skincare steps is but the one i'll be doing or showing you today does have quite a few steps and I'm hoping that over time, after I build the habit, only I can really use some of these products one day and use other products another day so that I don't have to do a 20 step skincare routine every single night. I think for my lifestyle, it just doesn't work. So that's why I really wanted to do this video because I want to learn about skincare and I want you guys to learn with me so that we can help educate each other and just have lots of fun in this intermittent period before I walk down the aisle. So thank you guys all for joining. If you aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And give this video a like or a thumbs up. And let's get started. So my sister is really into this app called Yes Style. It's a you can really buy quite anything on the app, but she uses it primarily for skincare and things like that. And she specifically gets Korean skincare. So she somehow talked me into getting some stuff from this website that I am currently using. And what I found out by doing research on a couple of these products was calming in Korean skincare means acne like it helps with your acne and stuff I feel like when something puts calming on American skincare stuff or just in general it's just a fancy way to say it's gonna cool your skin and not do anything I don't know if you guys think the same thing but I have never had a good experience with American skincare or anything that said calming. I feel like it doesn't do anything and that's okay. Like I feel like everything's just scented lavender. Like it's calming. It's scented with lavender. It'll calm you. And that's more like aromatherapy I feel like that we have here. But over there I found out that if it says calming, usually it means it helps with acne. So the first three products that I have is, the first one is this uh, toner. It is the Calming Deep Moisture Toner. And I can't pronounce the name, but I will put it down here and show you the name here. So this former is a soothing toner that is specially formulated for acne prone skin. And it help, and it contains AHA and PHA, and it gently sweeps away dead skin cells for a smooth skin texture. That is what it's supposed to do. And then we have, this was a set of three actually. It's the same brand for each three of them. And it came with a toner, a moisturizer, and a serum. This is the Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. It has a low pH moisturizer. It is formulated with EWG verified ingredients to soothe and hydrate, replenish skin, promote healthy, youthful looking complexion. It is infused with these ingredients and it is supposed to help with unclogging your pores and it contains ceramide and pantheol to hydrate the skin and uh, create that nice moisture barrier. And then the serum, we have the Calming Moisture Serum. It contains five types of uh, Cantella extracts, TTF extract, and honeysuckle to help soothe irritated skin. 
It is also prov um, it also contains the ceramide and the hyaluronic acid and peptides, and it is supposed to be have a more uh, neutral skin pH. It is designed to have a pH that is supposedly to match your skin, and that is that. I also have this. My sister gave me this. Um, this is a blemish cream. It is just supposed to help reduce the redness and the irritation from acne. You just put a little bit on top and it is supposed to help calm and soothe sensitive and irritated areas. So it might not just be acne. Maybe if you get the little red rashes too, it's supposed to help calm those down. And that is what this is. This brand is Costrix. And she got this as well from that Yes Style uh, app or website. I don't know. And then we're going to more brands that maybe you've heard of. I love The Ordinary. I've been using them for a very long time, but I wanted to add or experiment and try new things. So this is a toner that I use quite a lot. It is their toner. It is Gly glycolic acid it is toning solution and I personally love this one I clearly I am running out and I will need to get more but right now since I'm using the other toners I don't use that one too much right now I again I am trying to build a routine and then maybe here or there I can switch things up so that I don't have to do that 20 step skincare routine every single night and then I also have some more Ordinary products. I have this serum. It's the Lactic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. I love it. It really truly does help a lot with acne. It helps bring it up and gets rid of it and clears it away without your skin having to produce more. And then I also use this caffeine solution from them. This is supposed to help reduce the black under your eyes. Um, I don't think it does that. I use it for puffiness. I get really, really puffy at night and I wake up like a swollen balloon. I've been having problems actually with that because my ring size is a four, but when my hand is puffy, I have slight issues getting my ring on and I've like damaged my knuckles slightly and I'm waiting for it to heal, um, which is difficult because I keep putting my ring on. Even though I'm not puffy, I put my ring on and it irritates it again so that it gets puffy and it's just a whole... It's a whole thing now guys if you guys have that problem with your rings let me know in the comments because i feel like i'm doing something wrong i know i get puffy at night um but in the morning i would put on my ring right away because i didn't want to forget to put it on throughout the day so i would put it on and even if my finger was too puffy for me to put it on i would like force it on and i think that's why i injured my knuckle um but it'll heal and then it'll fit. It'll be back down to the normal size, which is this size, but you can see that it's definitely bloated. Um, so yeah, I showed my fiance and he was like, all right. And he's almost a medical professional, so maybe he can diagnose me later. Alright, and the last few products that I have been using is, again, we have one more Ordinary. I've always wanted to try a lash serum, so I got this. It is the Ordinary Lash Serum. It just has multi-peptides to help your lashes and if you wanted to put it on your eyebrows, too. It's supposed to help them grow fuller and thicker and everything, all the good stuff. It kind of tingles a little bit, but I'll get in more into how the products feel and everything in a moment. And then we have the... Oops. We have the Mighty Patches, love these, I use them for pimples. I run out of these so fast, I wish they weren't so expensive. So if you know a good brand that works just as well, that isn't as expensive, I'd love for you to tell me about it and I will give it a shot. And then I love the, I have the BTS versions right now, but I love the Lineage sleeping masks. They're to die for, I use them as chapstick because I love them so much. And then that is the products that I will be using for skincare right now. 
So I am wearing a little bit of makeup. I didn't do uh, movie makeup, although I had a family member comment say that I need to wear more makeup when I'm filming. But we're going to remove this little bit of makeup that I have on me face and then I will show you guys and tell you guys a little bit how the products feel and how if I feel like they've been working. I've been using them for about two weeks. So let's wash my face. so I can't see anything but let me get really close show you guys my skin so this is what my skin looks like now it should be like one of those um, beauty influencers that are like she looks like and let's get to it so we're going to start with the toner and I'm gonna grab one of my nifty little cotton pads here so like I said before I have been using these for about two weeks so far what I've noticed is that my skin does feel not as irritated and it does feel more moisturized than usual so I got some of that toner on here and this toner does feel actually very very nice on the skin it's cool it's very um, clean feeling I don't know if that makes sense it just feels nice and I like using it it doesn't burn because Korean products they they are more gentle on the skin so if you like that you really love Korean skincare products well, it takes quite a bit of time for you to for them to start really working though because they're very gentle but they do work very very well and just like my ordinary toner this toner doesn't like this toner stings a little bit this toner does not sting at all but it does work very well I don't know if you can see that and then I usually I'll go in with the serum so this serum is actually really odd it feels it feels nice and I had to get really close I'm sorry because I can't see anything this feels almost like how I feel like a serum would feel in general like the serum I have for the ordinary doesn't feel anything like this this is much thicker and even in the bottle you can tell here even in the bottle you can tell that it's very thick but this dries very fast all as well and it's not like a sticky serum like I'll feel like a lot of serums kind of feel like leave your skin wet and sticky and this one it'll dry down and it's sticky for maybe a few minutes but it really doesn't stay sticky as long as you rub it into your skin nice if I have any like really big irritants like I have this giant pimple over here right now and this stuff you only need like the smallest amount because a little goes a long way honestly all of these products a little goes a long way tap it in I found out that tapping works a lot better with this formula it's a very thick formula it dries very odd almost it's just an and it smells weird but I feel like it works pretty well and rubbing it in just makes this really weird white cast all over your face tapping it in you get a lot better results with it and actually all of these products here smell pretty good they don't have like a very strong scent but they don't smell off and then I'll go in with my 
cream and this moisturizer it's like a gel consistency and you really only need like the smallest amount like even this is probably too much it a little goes a long way and my skin it can be very oily and it can be very dry it depends on the time of year so i feel like throughout the seasons as they change i'll probably change the amount that my skin needs in the winter time my skin is way drier and then in the summer months i live in florida so my skin is a little more moisturized it's very smooth and it's very calming it's it's cool but it it's not like icy cold and it's not sticky at all this one is not sticky at all so i i will not be using this one because i've been using my other new toner and serums so i will be saving this for another date maybe if i usually pull out the ordinary stuff when i want something to go away very fast so if i like break out really bad and i'm supposed to be summer away in a week or two i usually break this stuff out because for my skin at least it works very well and it for the most part it'll get rid of all of the big irritants but we're going to be focusing on this one right now so again this is supposed to get rid of your baggy under eyes but i feel like i'm just not going to ever escape the baggy under eyes and it's just how it is this one is a lot more sticky it's like a really weird consistency it's like a very thick gel almost but you really only need, ooh, that's way too much. Like a dot under the eyes. Actually, I've been putting this on my hand sometimes because it does help with puffiness so much. I'm gonna like pick some up and put it over here. But this really, like if you have puffy eyes in the morning, this works so well. And then we have the Lash Serum. So then I just put this right at my brows or right at the end of my lashes. And I put this right here and I put it under because Lord knows my under lashes need more help. More help than, I don't know, uh, fill it in with a good analogy, please. And then, and this is where I put my glasses on so that I can see again. And we go in with the final product, which is this mm, and this stuff is just wonderful this stuff is a little more sticky because it is designed to be more of a sleeping mask and again i do wear it as normal chapstick <sighs> um my fiance just loves it he loves the stickiness when i kiss him it's his most favorite and he watches this video so i know he's gonna comment you're crazy all right and that is everything this is what my skin looks like with all the products on, I will also put my, the video of me without everything on as well over there. And then over time, I plan on doing refresher videos. I plan on doing more skincare stuff and then doing maybe a self-care videos. Alright, and that's a wrap. That is what my skin looks like with all of the stuff on it. Uh, if you are new to this channel, again, thank you for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It does help if you like these videos. Check out some of my other content as well. I'll make sure I link a couple other videos for you to check out. I do sewing, fashion, family, just the overall big uh, fun stuff here on the channel. So without further ado, I will see you guys all next week.